Pokey Retro here again. Um, as promised, I'm going to be showing you my collection to date so far, which I keep in an Ultra Pro Pro Binder, which is made out of leather. And I think it's just a nice, classy way of storing your cards. So I recommend that to anyone who's trying to look after what they've got. Um, I only collect 1999 vintage cards. So um, expect to see some really, really old nostalgic cards in here that are worth a lot of money. Um, all of them are in mint to gem mint condition as well. So I've, I've probably spent in total over, over a grand just on this file in itself. Uh, so first up, we have a near complete shadowless base set. Shadowless means that there is no shadow next to the hollow here. Um, basically, it's the exact same as the first edition card, just without the first edition symbol. Uh, making them worth a lot more than the regular unlimited cards because they're very scarce. There's not many of them in the world at the moment, especially in this condition. And as you'll see, all the cards are color coded. There's a purple sleeve, blue sleeve for water, white for colorless, etc. And um, they're all double sleeves. So they're in a fit sleeve, then they're inside of the colored sleeve, then they're inside of the file. So they're nice and protected. Um, so I'll go through the Shadowless base set. Alakazam, Blastoise, Chansey, Charizard, man. Check that out. That's awesome. That card in itself is probably worth about $100 to $150. Um, I would never sell it though, ever. Mint condition too. Arkle Fairy, Gyarados. Hitmonchan, I'm missing a Machamp. I need a bloody Machamp. First edition Machamp. If any of you have a first edition Machamp in mint condition, let me buy it off you, please. Just PM me, message in this in this video, comment the video. Um, I need that bloody card. Uh, Magneton. Mewtwo, man. Oh, check that card out, eh? That's that's from um, the first movie that just brings back so many merits. Why the hell does it do 10 damage? It's like the strongest Pokemon, but it does 10 damage. What a shit. Um, Nidoking. Nidoking's a bit darker than the rest of them. I find that kind of weird because um, in the unlimited versions, he's, he's quite a lot lighter. But in here, he's, he's got a different tint to him, I think. And it's not fake because the rest of them on eBay and etc. are all the exact same. Uh, Nine Tails. Polyrath, Raichu, Venusaur, Venusaur, Zapdos. Zapdos isn't in mint. Um, I got it off a no collect no hang on. I collected, and um, it was in really bad condition. I'm, I'll never buy off those big retailers ever again. They absolutely suck. Uh, Beedrill, Dragonair, Dugjo, Electabuzz, Electrode, and a Pidgeotto. Now, all the commons and uncommons, I'll go through nice and quickly to save some time. I'm sure you don't care too much about them. Um, still, all in mint to near mint condition, all coloured coated. Oh, no, sorry, mint to gem mint condition. All colour coded. I look after these things very, very well. Boom. Freaking Pikachu. Freaking awesome card. They're all shadowless too. Um, wicked, wicked set right here. Wouldn't sell this ever, so don't ask. Don't ask for any purchases individually or anything like that. Um, if you guys have any of these trainers, I'll buy them off you as well. Obviously, they're not worth quite as much as the Machamp, but um, I'll still buy them off you. Okay, so that completes the Shadowless base set. Wait, hang on. I think that completes the Shadowless base set, sorry. Now we have a first edition. So first edition, there's a first edition symbol there. Jungle set, near complete. Um, I'm just missing 12, 11? No, 12 of the 15 hollows. I only have Electro, Jolteon, and Wigglytuff. The rest of them are all ready to put the cards in, color coded and all, but don't have the cards yet, and Wiggly Tough yet. So um, they're again, all in mint to gem mint condition. I have all the non-holo, or most of the non-holo versions, as you can see, but um, I just don't have the holo versions. Uh, so that's all them. Dojo, Executor, Firo, Gloom, Lickitung, Marowak, Nidovina, Parasect, Persian, 
I'm trying to be the commentator of Pokemon who does all the um does all the talking, but I think I'm failing pretty miserably here. But uh, that's all right. I tried. Anyway. I'll keep going through all this stuff. This is all hectic stuff. Oh, sorry, man. I, I wanna wanna make this exciting. Here we go. Now we got the first edition fossil set, which is the boost box that I recently opened. If you want to take a look at that video on my channel. Um, so as again, first edition symbol: Aerodactyl, Mint, Articuno, Mint, Ditto, Mint, Dragonite, Mint. I have three first edition Dragonites. How crazy is that? First edition Gengar, Mint. First edition Haunter, Mint. Hitmonlee, Mint. Hypno. Kabutops, Lapras, Magneton. Moltres, Muck, Raichu. Zapdos. That's all the hollows. And then we got all the non hollows. So I have them all in non holo form as well. Um, I do have some of these non hollows for sale actually. I mean, I'll put a link to my eBay channel in the description. So I sell some of the cards on there if you want to have a little bit of a look to see what I do have for sale. Um, then you got all your common and uncommons. There's only 62 cards in this set, so it's quite a short set. Um, now you got your commons. I hell like the side arcade. It's hell, hell pretty colours. Um, cool, cool, cool. Trainers. Boom. And now the most valuable card in my entire set. It's a first edition Venusaur in gem mint condition. So I reckon if I got this PSA grade, it would get a 9, if not a 10. Uh, this was pulled from a packet, actually, from someone that I bought it off. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this card, which is just awesome. And I have some other first edition base set cards, but they're so expensive these days that it's, it's very hard to afford afford these cards. Um, Kakuna. Magma, wicked card actually. Uh, Nidoran and Poliwhirl, all these bad boys, look at that. They're probably worth about, even the commons and the uncommons are still worth about $20 each if you PSA grade them. Um, it's a very, very expensive set. If you want the whole thing in mint condition, you're looking at about four dollars to $5,000. Um, so that's ridiculous. I will never complete this set. I know I won't, but um, it's nice having a couple of cards from there. Pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. And um, now we got the cards that I pulled from my recent booster box. I showed those in another recap video in detail, so if you want to have a look at that, um, go on my channel and find that video. It's just called Fossil Set Recap Video or titled it something like that. Anyway, that is the end of my collection. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If you're still watching at this point, please subscribe and give this video a like because... I will be doing some giveaways eventually and um, I'm sure I've got some stuff of value that you will eventually want at some point. So um, shoot me a message or anything as well if you have any questions and I've been making lots of tutorials about um, a lot of Pokemon selling and buying related stuff. So um, thank you again and I will see you next time.